Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has instructed government ministers to work together so that Kuis and Fukushima can return home as soon as possible. Noda spoke at an informal cabinet session on Tuesday. He said the government's top priority is to get people back home by speeding up decontamination work, infrastructure projects and job creation measures. Reconstruction Minister Tatsuo Hirano said he has met with mayors from cities in the evacuation zones. He says the government is working with local authorities to oversee an intermediate storage facility for radioactive soil in Fukushima. Some 160,000 people in the area are still unable to return home. The government plans to review the borders of the evacuation zones by the end of March. Major Japanese milk producers say their products have passed the government's safety standards for radioactive cesium. The government decided to tighten milk standard, safety standards from, from April amid consumer concerns about the nuclear accident at the Fukushima power plant. Under the new standards, milk will be allowed to contain 50 becquerels of cesium per kilogram or one quarter of the current permissible level. The Japan Dairy Industry Association announced the results of radiation screening tests held at 124 factories, mostly in eastern Japan. About 60 percent of the milk factories, mainly in the Kanto and Tohoku regions, participated in the survey. The association said the amount of radioactive cesium in milk before shipping was below the lowest detectable amount, 10 becquerels per kilogram, at all of the factories they have checked. And the Agriculture Ministry has decided to conditionally allow rice planting in some areas where unsafe levels of radiation were detected last year. Local governments are to make sure that the crops will not be distributed if such high levels are found again. The ministry drew up new standards on Tuesday for rice planting after the government tightened its safety standards for food to 100 becquerels per kilogram starting in April. The ministry says that farmers will be banned from planting rice where more than 500 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive substances were detected in rice harvested last year. In areas between, where between 100 and 500 becquerels per kilogram were detected in last season's rice, planting will also be banned in principle. But farmers in those areas will be allowed to plant rice if they agree to the condition that municipalities monitor production in each field and all harvested rice is checked for radiation before shipment. The plan comes in response to calls from farmers in Fukushima Prefecture saying that stricter rice planting restrictions would cause more people to give up farming at a time when the farming population is aging. Rice with readings of more than 100 becquerels will not be distributed. To enforce such a system, we need to work closely with local governments. The ministry aims to hear from local governments by early March on whether they will opt for a total ban or follow the conditional permissions scheme. Many consumers around the Fukushima Daiichi plant aren't buying locally produced food because of fears of radiation. But a store owner in Fukushima City refuses to give in to the fear. NHK World's Sachio Sugita has her story. This cake, known as bomb kuhin, was made from rice flour grown in the area. It is denser than wheat flour and is naturally sweet. This bombkuchen shop opened in Fukushima six months before the nuclear disaster. The eggs and the rice flour used to make the cake are grown in the region. Yoichi Saito owns the shop. He says his business has been on life support since the nuclear disaster. The farm where he bought his eggs closed down and some rice grown in the area exceeded the government's radiation safety level. We had always eaten local rice, but then it got contaminated. I was so shocked. At the same time, a lot of customers canceled orders. As well, the shop began receiving calls from people asking about safety. Saito worried that he might have to close shop. But Saito felt he couldn't turn his back on the local rice and vegetables. I grew strong and healthy eating local foods. Fukushima is my home. 
There's no way I could just walk away from it and move on. I want to do everything I can to help local farmers. Saito decided to keep using ingredients from Fukushima. He found a new chicken farmer in the area to supply eggs. But getting safe rice flour was a problem. Saito asked the local co-op how it inspects rice for radiation. He also wanted to learn its radiation levels, which are stricter than the government's. On this day, Saito and his staff prepared to bake their first farm kuhin, made with local rice that meets the co-op's safety standards. They adjust the temperature and start baking. The new rice makes the cake delicious, soft, and chewy. Saito sends the cake to the lab. The staff will see if the cake contains radiation. Saito wants to be certain that his customers will be safe. Two days later, the report comes back. The lab did not detect any radiation in the cake. Now I can use rice harvested in 2011. We thoroughly test our rice flour from 2011, so please have confidence in us. Saito reassures the customers. Fukushima will keep moving forward. The rice is safe and we want to revitalize the city with our cakes. Saito believes Fukushima's food industry and its business will pull through. Just to be sure, he adds an extra ingredient in each bomb kuhin. His love for his hometown. Sachio Sugita, NHK World, Fukushima.